In 2017, the New York Department of Financial Services enacted a cybersecurity regulation designed to help financial services entities under its purview to improve their cyber defenses. The initial regulation outlined tactics and techniques that constitute a comprehensive security program capable of minimizing an organization's exposure to growing cyber threats. The first iteration of the regulation gave financial institutions a certain degree of freedom in how requirements could be achieved. Broadly speaking, the rules stipulated that institutions must conduct annual cyber risk assessments, implement basic technical controls across 15 areas, including hard and access controls, data protection and encryption, maintain a current incident response plan, notify regulators within 72 hours of a suspected cybersecurity event, and employ a chief information security officer to help protect information systems and to approve written policies. The regulation has undergone several updates since inception to ensure that covered entities remain vigilant. The latest proposed amendments were announced on November 9th, 2022. The new requirements will be more stringent than in the past and can be grouped into six buckets. One, there are increased obligations for larger companies, with the definition of larger companies clearly spelled out. Next, there's more specificity around the definition of risk assessment, and there are certain accompanying requirements based on individual tailoring per organization. Third, there are new technology requirements, including a complete asset inventory and stronger access controls, especially around privileged accounts. Next, there are enhanced notification requirements, there are expanded governance practices, and finally, there are stricter penalties for noncompliance with regulation. Naturally, given that Exonius is a cybersecurity asset management company, this talk will focus on the requirement for maintaining an asset inventory. But it's not just a basic asset inventory that's important. The amendments to the cybersecurity regulation address monitoring and maintenance of data governance, access controls, unpatched software, end of life technology management, vulnerability and risk management, and much more. All things that are part and parcel of managing an asset inventory. Or, in other words, it's a comprehensive cybersecurity asset management program. So what's new? The amendments, designated as the proposed Second Amendment to 23 NYCRR 500 include, as part of its cybersecurity program, each covered entity shall implement written policies and procedures designed to ensure a complete, accurate, and documented asset inventory. The asset inventory shall be maintained in accordance with written policies and procedures. At a minimum, such policies and procedures shall include a method to track key information for each asset, including owner, location, classification or sensitivity, support expiration date, and recovery time requirements. Also, there will be a frequency required to update and validate the covered entity's asset inventory. Via Exonius' cybersecurity asset management and SaaS management products, Exonius can quickly provide that complete, accurate, and documented asset inventory. But it's more than just an accounting of assets. Due to Exonius' extensive integration model, otherwise known as more than 600 adapters with pre-built APIs, alongside the native capabilities for aggregation, normalization, and deduplication, Exonius provides very specific correlated details and data for each asset in your technology environment. Further, the Exonius Easy to Use Query Wizard gives our customers a view into vulnerabilities affecting assets, historical and timeline data for each asset, plus a way to easily manage vulnerabilities, either through Exonius directly or through the integrated technologies that constitute our adapter network. But is asset inventory or simple asset management enough? Cybersecurity asset management is just part of a larger picture, one that is cyber asset attack surface management, or CASM for short. CASM, for its part, rolls up into continuous threat exposure management, a term becoming increasingly important for organizations that want to holistically address the cyber risks targeted at their technology landscapes. So why is this important? It's important because asset management is not simply a practice to count all the things. In other words, accounting for all the hardware, software, users, cloud environments, SaaS apps, CVEs, configurations, policies, and patches that are in a digital ecosystem. Instead, asset management serves the purpose of allowing organizations to identify or validate and classify all assets, surface asset-related vulnerabilities and risks, 
track and manage asset-based threat exposure over time, and take remediation action when appropriate. For financial entities subject to the NYDFS cybersecurity regulation, the proposed amendments put a clear focus on understanding and controlling assets, not just finding them. And though increased mandatory controls and practices will get organizations much of the way there, the larger picture must be on how devices, users or identities, access controls, SaaS apps, cloud instances, data repositories, vulnerabilities, and more all relate to other assets in the organization's infrastructure. Without a clear, comprehensive asset management program, a capability that aggregates and correlates data from all deployed technology and provides a single view of the organization's security state, companies cannot expect to manage their attack surface or threat exposure. That's where Exonius can help.